and welcome again to AA Home Gardening. Thanks to all my subscribers. Thank you to anyone new that viewing my content. Welcome. Today we're looking at what I'm planting in August. <music> is the art of summer you know every some people thinking it's too late now to sow anything it's too late to plant anything but you still can do things in august the season haven't finished yet actually there's so much things so usually the last set of carrots are planted like the big the, the, in june beginning of july but i'm still gonna sow some carrots the only thing is you know sometime in the uk august is a bit cool but sometimes it's hot but what i'm going to do i'm going to plant the carrots where they can get a bit of a shelter so they're not in the direct sun because i know um carrots are a cool climate crop so i'm going to take you on the journey i'm looking at seven things seven things i'm planting in august so carrots was only one that i've mentioned so i'm going to turn you around and you're going to see the seven all seven as the video go through okay so let's turn it around and show you what's going on so i'm going to direct sow some carrots in august yes i'm sowing some carrots in august these carrots were recommended to sow up until july but i'm going to be sowing them in august as well because as i know these are only a guide and carrots are a cool cool season crop anyhow so we should be harvesting these in november also i'm going to plant some more beetroot as you can see i have a couple of beetroot in this bed where my massive sage is then a couple of sage i have here going from seed there's a little basil there struggling on so all of this bed here i'm going to put carrots in so i put some fresh compost down and i water it in and then because the beetroots are there, I'm going to grow some more beetroot along here. So yes, guys, we're in the heart of summer. But we still can plant things out in the garden that we can harvest um, late summer, early autumn. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to sow the carrots. So this one is James Scarlet. And this one is Autumn King. So these are the two carrots I'm going to sow right here. And all I'm going to do is to sow these carrots. I'm just going to make a line along the bed. So hopefully you'll be able to see everything that's going on. So I'm going to make a line. I'm going to take you probably here. You probably can see a little bit better. So I'm just going to make a line right along the bed. Just like that. So you're just basically making a row and I'm just gonna sprinkle the carrot seeds in. I'm not gonna be extremely careful because these are homegrown carrots. So they can be a bit bungled up because I know if they're tiny or medium, I'm still gonna eat them. So basically just make a little makeshift trench like that, about an inch inch and a half maximum like that right along this bed and then I'm going to sow the two types of carrots together right here so hopefully you can see all of that not sure if you can see all of that so that's what I'm going to do to sow my carrots so the first one I'm going to sow is my autumn king so I'm just going to Take this out and then I'm gonna sprinkle it along along um, the trenches that I just did. I try to sprinkle them thinly as possible, but I'm not sure, but it's gonna just shake it out like this, just like that. And that's gonna be my autumn king carrots right here. That's all I'm doing to sow, sow the carrots. So I'm not being totally careful to say they're all bundled up or anything like that. Because they will fight and find space. And I'm not really growing them like supermarkets where they're like super fat and super um, straight. So that's what I'm doing for the carrots. 
Then when I'm ready to sow the beetroot, I'll show you. Now I'll be planting out my beetroot. So I'll finish the carrots. So I'm just going to come over here and plant all these beetroot right beside the rest of the beetroots that's over here. And I'm going to do the same thing like I did with the carrots. So I'm just going to sow them thinly and then stamp them down in the ground. So this is my third, third lots of beetroot for the season. So in, in August, you can direct sow all of these. You don't have to put them in any sort of spray or anything like that. So I'm just going to sprinkle these in just like that. And that will be my beetroot all planted right here as well. So that's two things that I've been sowing. Um, I'm sowing now for August. I'm going to show you some of the other things I'm direct sowing for August. So here I'm planting the last one. So I've planted out about whew, 20, they're about 20 Swiss chard in, that, in this location. So now these will grow on right into autumn, winter. You'll be having nice chard to eat. So these are some of the normal ones. So these are the normal ones that just planted here. And I also have the rainbow chard in between as well. So I do have the rainbow chard. So in August, perfect time to get your Swiss chard planted. Then right along here, I'll be planting out my giant red mustard greens. You know, last year, you saw how bountiful the harvest was throughout the winter. So, just planting out my giant red mustard green right here. So, that's two things right here for the August. So, I'm just basically going to sprinkle my mustard leaf right here these are advised to plant from july from july to sowing from july to september so we're in season for my giant red mustard green but before i do the mustard i'm gonna do some malabar spinach so now here in the uk as soon as the sun gets too hot then our spinach will bolt so as soon as they have your spinach in the garden, they will start going to seed as soon as the weather gets too warm. So this part of the spinach, I don't have this problem because they love the warm weather. So my Guyanese in Guyana is called Kalaloo, but it's known as the Malabar spinach. This is ideal to be sown in August. So what I did, a uh, subscriber of mine gave me some cotton. I had the green ones two years ago. And you can see these are the deep purple. But unlike spinach, you'll have to stake these up like runner bean. Because they run straight up. These are not like normal spinach that just branch out. These will grow and climb. So you just have the normal cutting like this. You just stick it in the ground, just like your kova, your African kova, and it will actually root. So that's all I'm doing, and this is in August, guys. So there's so much. So if you're scared of planting spinach so late, because I think it's going to bolt on you, then the Malabar spinach is ideal for you to plant when the British weather gets really warm, because they love it. So I'm going to just put it in the ground here, and then in a week and a half, I'm going to show you guys how beautiful these spinach has um, pop up. So I plant these out. So now I have the Swiss chard, the giant red mustard, the Malabar spinach, and then I'll show you what else I'm planting in August. So there's all my Ghani's Kalaloo. Or my mala malabar all planted out so these as soon as week and a half I will have to stake these up 
because even though I had it in the bag for a couple of days and I didn't put it in the ground you can see fresh leaves coming up still so that's this bed here so I have the Swiss chard the Malabar spinach then the red giant mustard but also I'm gonna plant us on turnips I have different turnips and if you were watching my video I've been harvesting some recently so I'm gonna plant us some more turnip ideal time for the turnips and then we just go through autumn so that's my sixth one and my seventh one is my radishes you know my little one love radishes so i've been doing some like french breakfast and some munchners and all those things so i'm gonna plant it out right here but i'm not gonna go through and let you, you watch me plant all of those they're gonna be right here so those are some of the things guys i'll be planting out directly in autumn Tom. sorry we say august august is one of those months where you just whatever you want you just go in the garden you plant it you don't have to sow it the only thing sometime with the red giant mustard i think i plant some out directly but i'm also going to sow some indoor because the slug does love them and i don't want the slug to get all of it whereas with these is okay because i had these in seed trays before and i planned them out in august now and these are just cutting and they have more resistance to the slugs so guys august is an ideal month keep planting guys summer i've just in full swing now so keep planting guys keep planting don't stop planting we're still in um summer so let me know in the comment section below what are you planting out in august i know most of us are focusing on harvesting but let us have the continual crop going so let's keep planting in august so let me know in the comment section what you're planting in august so we can share ideas and learn from each other so thank you so much for watching thanks for viewing keep gardening until next time now take care bye bye like share subscribe and click the notification bell